So what are the best smartphone lenses, microphones, and tripods to take your photos and videos to the next level, plus your live streams like Facebook Live and Periscope? I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV. Help you go further, faster in media. And on this channel, we do tech gear reviews and video and audio gear reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. So when it comes to shooting photos and videos and doing live streams on your phone, you don't need anything. You can just use the camera, the onboard microphone. You can just go live right from your phone. But sometimes the results are less than professional, right? And so you're definitely watching this video because there's ways we can take the, our current smartphone to a whole nother level by just adding a few accessories. The first one is a tripod. And I really recommend the Archon iPhone tripod mount. This is the all around best value on the internet, in my opinion, when it comes to a tripod for your phone. A couple reasons why is because not only do you get the kind of cool bendy legs and you could, you know, wrap it around a, um, you know, a railing or whatever, but actually for under $20 US, they include on Amazon, or I'll put a link to it in the description below, they include the actual uh, mount itself. And what I found from all of my research is that most of these cheap mounts or even the more expensive ones don't let you do a couple things. Number one, a lot of them only go, uh, you know, long ways like this, because they assume you want to shoot widescreen, which if you're shooting video, of course you do. But if you're doing live streams like Periscope or Facebook Live, you might want to be able to see the comments. You might want to be able to scroll through them and shoot, of course, vertical like this. And this particular mount lets you do that and it is awesome. Some of the weaknesses of the other mounts is like this little Joby one. It's got a tons of good reviews. It's too small. It can't carry the weight once you put, you know, a lens on here and once you plug a microphone in it, this guy just tips right over. This little guy, same issue. If you go sideways, it's going to tip this way and tip this way. So I really, I feel like it's it's not like high up on the ranks in Amazon. It's like a hidden secret that for under $20, this setup is killer. So I recommend starting with a solid tripod like this. Number two is the microphone. Now the mic I recommend is the iRig Mic Lav. And this mic is fantastic. It's simple. It's got a good cord lens. Length. And this is my go-to mic for doing Facebook Lives and uh, Periscopes and things like that. And so this mic is about $40 US and now you're set up to have quality audio during your live streams or if you wanna shoot video. And so I actually did a complete video on microphones. There's a couple other options like doing a directional mic, especially if more than one person is gonna be on camera. This is the Rode uh, Video Mic Me. And so I will link up the full dedicated mic video on the YouTube card. But as far as just a solid mic that you can hook up and talk directly to your camera for quick videos for social media or for any kind of live streams, the iRig is my go-to mic. And then number three is a lens. Now, as you know that when you shoot on your camera, especially on the front facing camera, really on both sides, the shot is not very wide. And so I really like to add a wide angle lens. Now this is the Aki Aura lens. And this guy is uh, pretty large looking, but ends up creating a pretty cool result for your videos. And so I will show you an example of what the footage likes with, uh, looks like without this lens, and then once we add the wide angle lens. Okay, so here is a quick example of just my iPhone shooting in the standard video app. The mic is the iRig mic, and that's what you're hearing right here. And then, of course, the phone is on the tripod. But now, let's throw on the wide-angle lens. Okay, so I didn't adjust the distance or anything at all. I'm still sitting in the same place. But now this is the shot with the wide angle lens. So when I'm live streaming, it's actually tipped up, but I definitely like it because it kind of gets a little more in the shot, keeps things simple on Facebook Live, and gives you a little more creativity. Now one quick tip is that when you put any wide angle lens on your phone, sometimes it'll kind of forget the brightness because the sensor of how much light in, is in the room will dim your screen. So go into your settings, you can turn your brightness all the way up so you can see really clear and then lock in the screen brightness. 
And one alternative to this Aura wide angle lens is the Cam Kicks Deluxe uh, Lens Kit. Now what's cool about this, it's a little smaller form factor. It is a little bit better as far as not taking up your screen, especially if you want to be able to frame the shot, see comments and things in a live stream setting. Okay, and here is a quick example of footage with the Cam Kicks wide angle lens. A great solution as well, and a little bit smaller, or quite a bit smaller on the form factor than the Aki. And so this one's great, and it also comes with a few other lens options, including a fisheye if you want the shot to get really wide, etc. And so uh, I believe this is about $23 in the US. The Aki Aura is about $30 US. And so you can check out uh, the current specials and prices or whatever, everything in the YouTube description below. And so both of these options would be a great way to get wide angle footage going on your phone. And a fourth bonus tip is to add a long power cable. So if you don't have one that gives you plenty of slack, depending on where you're shooting, I recommend um, ordering one of those as well. I, my personal preference is Amazon Basics cables, well made, they don't fall apart. You know they're gonna be certified for Apple. I think they're just as highly rated for any kind of Droid or Samsung or anything else. And so those are kind of the four things. You've got your tripod, you've got your plugged in lapel mic, you've got wide angle lens, so you get a kind of wider shot, and then you're plugged into power Power so that you don't lose power, especially when you're live streaming. One reason I don't like lightning cable microphones is because not only do they draw more power from your phone, but you can't be charging your phone during a live stream. But maybe you wanna use this for video or something else. Just a couple things to consider. Question of the day, what accessories do you recommend for video, photos, live streaming? Let me know in the comments section below. And remember that some of the best tips and recommendations come from you, the Think Media TV community, so definitely connect with everybody in the comments section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this, and also check out the playlist of all of the videos in this smartphone accessory series, talking about mics and lenses and other cool accessories. So I'll link that up and put it in the description. And also, if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, that's actually where I go through the best cameras, lighting, tripods, all the stuff for every budget, specifically for making YouTube videos and online videos. So if you're interested in checking that out as well, I'll link it up on the YouTube card in the description below. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.